They do a lot of specialized union discount programs. You know, I really think price uh, shopping, comparing, it is a lot of fun. I gotta find it. Oh shit, I might need to go ask for a new one. That's my old one. Hi. Here you go. Yeah, it's two pounds of that for seven bucks. And it's pretty high quality stuff too, you know? That's why I like shopping here, because if you plan it out, you know, you think strategically. Like we're trying to do today, we're not going overboard. So let's find the bread. They got the bread down there. Look at like this pesto, right? Like this is a fantastic deal. Like this will last you like two or three months. And that's like eight bucks. Two and a half pounds of asparagus, four bucks. That's a fantastic deal. One of these, it's an eight pack, will cost five bucks. This whole 24 pack is six bucks here. I'll get one of these for the guys. It's like a thank you gift. Do you ever think about just having like a big thing of breakfast sandwiches in your fridge? Never thought of it. Here, let's do that. I mean, look at this just in terms of seasoning, right? This is Italian seasoning. This is like three quarts. If you went to like a Kroger or a Safeway, you'd probably get something like a third of the size of this for the same price. I mean, this is this is discount shopping at its best. I mean, this is this is really what it's about. Parmesan cheese. And this is two of them for like $12.99. I mean, that's a really good deal. I mean, you know, buying bulk, you save a lot of money. You know, you, you gotta make conscientious effort to build up, to stock up on certain items when you come in. I mean, it's a system. And uh, one that my parents taught me. One that I'm, I'm glad they taught me, you know? Now, there really ought to be exchange programs for people to do this kind of thing. You know, people from the north could go south, Go out discount shopping with Southerners. Southerners could come north. I mean, you know, when you're around competitive discount shoppers, look at that. Look at this. Look, look at this gigantic bag of straws there. For what, $4.79? Like, look how big that bag of straws is. Like, I almost, did you want to get those just because they're straws? No, not really. All right. I mean, there's a lot of diversity in terms of what they have here. Like, that's like a month's worth of food almost. Ten bucks for six of those. If you do that on like a meal basis, what, that'd be what, two bucks a meal or something? Hold on. Six ninety nine for two big things of syrup like that. I mean, <laughs> that's amazing. You know, God bless America. All right, it's 1049. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I spent too much money. The Milano is here. It's not a bad deal on those Milano. This is a this is a two and a half pound bag for five dollars. And they're organic. Where else would you get that? Huh? I <laughs> hope you learned some life lessons. I hope everyone watching it is inspired to shop more ethically. Because that's what you can do at a place that lets workers unionize and pay folks 13.50 an hour. You can get pharmacies filled here even if you don't. Help with that. Having this car, it may not look like a lot, but it's from our primary office. Uh, you know, I was sitting here, I listen to jazz, drive around, eat. Must spend, I don't know, five or six days out of each month, you know, you counted them total, just sitting in this car on the phone, listening to podcasts, listening to the radio, calling people, just out on the road, searching for the stories. And, you know, that's exciting. That's what I think we really got to do as a movement is get back to that kind of mentality of the civil rights movement where people went great distances, where people linked movements, and people showed solidarity with struggles everywhere. Oh wow, look, they got some stuff popping off down there. I'm proud of the fact we put 12,000 miles on this car in four months. 
it means we've been a lot of places, we've seen a lot of people. It's it's one thing to talk to people on the phone, it's one thing to aggregate reporting, it's another to sit there and have lunch with someone, have uh, actually sit down with folks and get to know them on a personal level, have them get to know you. And then I think the process of labor reporting becomes very creative, it becomes very fluent. It's like getting a band together, you know, what kind of workers' voices, what's going to be the diversity of voices in a story, how are they going to collectively uh, push the debate forward, say different things, but also create a question in the reader's mind. Uh, that's what we're trying to do with this publication, is, is look at ways that we can really put questions in people's minds that can uh, question the limits of the possible. Uh, people say it's impossible to organize the South. Uh, I don't really agree with that approach. I think it's entirely possible. It's just, where's the limits of our imagination? I don't just see this as something that's going to be around a year. we got a five-year plan. I mean, the five-year plan is to build the largest labor desk in the country. And I, I think we're in a position to do it. Uh, I think our readers put us in that position because they're willing to help go to bat for us. I mean, you know, a lot of folks I know read us giving us a couple hundred dollars this year. They, they give every time we ask, and uh, that's tremendous to know that individuals are willing to put that level of investment in you personally. Uh, but it's not me personally. Uh, you know, obviously people helped me on this project. J.P. Wright, Folk Labor Arms Budsman. Uh, Joe Hanley has been editing me. Emery Yakasia helps with the sound and the video. And obviously Mike Duff, uh, the labor law professor, and I have been working hard on this podcast concept. And just been meeting with a ton of people that are readers about how we're going to get payday out, how we're going to deploy it effectively, and how we're going to get the, keep the Wayne Hansen on the road here. Keep the judge. Car here. I love this car. <laughs>